All right, welcome back to Sherlock vs. Jack the Ripper. We are about to head to the abandoned building and check out the source of the gas. Um, we're not necessarily the source of the gas, but... Uh, it's the abandoned house that Bluto pointed out to me. He must have set up his hideout there. Hmm, there's a strange smell coming from this old building. Yep. Oh, you're not sweeping or painting. You're now fixing a bike. Let's change the pace, I guess. Closed. Finley. Come on, man. Good day, Finley. Ah, uh, good day, sir. Have we met before? It's me, Sherlock Holmes, but I don't want it to be known that I'm here. Can I count on you? Certainly, Mr. Holmes. I shall be as silent as the grave. Your tenant, Dr. Tumblety, is he here? I don't think so. I'll go and find out. It would seem you've been having some gas problems. Don't talk to me about it. The problem is from the abandoned house not far from here, but nobody has come to take care of it. Perhaps I could go and take a look. Do you have a ladder? No, but I think in the pile of wood under the stairs there is one in pieces. And if you also need something from the scrap heap, some old tools or who knows what, feel free to take it, Mr. Holmes. But leave the dishes in good condition. Okay. Thank you, and goodbye. And goodbye, Mr. Holmes. Let's check on Tumblety first, I guess. No. Closed. Right. Scrap is what down here. This lead pipe could help me to repair the gas lines. Okay. Finley's ladder is smashed to pieces, but all the parts appear to be here. This must be a piece of the ladder. Okay. Some old nails. They may come in handy. Uh, what else do I need to find? Is that it? Or no? This lead pipe could help me to repair the gas lines. A broken hammer. I will have to find a handle. Part of a perfume atomizer. Anything else? Handle. Uh, I guess that's it. This old cloth could be used as a mask. I must moisten my makeshift mask. Okay. Bizarre puzzle this is. Um, are these rungs? This lead pipe could help me to repair the gas lines. Is that a This rung? must be a piece of the ladder. Okay. These are not. This must be a piece of the ladder. Never mind, they are. A heap of rusted iron crockery. Part of a perfume atomizer. Okay. Find all kinds of stuff here. Am I supposed to actually do something with these? Okay, take this stick and combine it with the. Oh, what the hell? How am I supposed to combine these things? Okay, take this piece of the perfume atomizer. Okay, that was that's how that's done apparently. Uh, can I combine the little? St okay, then can I combine this and this? No, with this, with this, with that. Okay, uh, oh, that's not what I wanted. Combine the nails with this, with that, the other thing with that, these with that. What the hell? Combine the knife with this, with that. Combine the nail with the hammer, you know? Wow. Uh, Okay. 
Okay. You just have to get them in the right order. Alright, now I have a ladder. Wow. What a pain in the ass. I don't know what those are for. I don't know what the cloth is, so I have to get it wet. Okay. Uh, okay. I hope this ladder will support my weight. There is a gas leak. My life will be at risk if I enter the room without protection. I must find something to protect myself with so that I can go in and take a better look. Okay, a little cloth rag. What do I combine this with? Combine this with this? No. This with that? No. Combine this with this? No. Okay. Well, shit. Um, water? Water. Water. Um, there. This damp cloth will do for a mask. Okay. Let's go. I don't know what the perfume atomizer is for then, but all right. My cloth mask won't make much difference, but I'll be able to inspect the room for a few seconds. Dead rats. The leak must have been sudden. Even the animals didn't have time to escape. A small torch, a useful tool for opening safes, I would assume, but the gas bottle is empty. Well, there's a gas leak. Let's, let's spark it up. See what happens. The leak must have been sudden. Even the animals didn't have time to escape. Okay. The leak must have been sudden. Okay. Even the animals didn't have time to escape. I need something. This iron bar will help me. Use it to pry open the lock. Okay. The leak is coming from here. The satchel is behind these pipes. This explains why the thug wanted someone who knew about gas. He must have hidden it there in great haste and broke the pipes in the process. Start the turning the valves. seems to be quite stuck. I don't think I can get it out without passing out. For good. I need a more suitable mask. The kind used by tanners would do nicely. Or just turn the gas off. Tanner's nice. Where am I supposed to find that? I get stuck on invisible things here. Alright, I don't see any Tanner's masks here. Well, I only know one person that works with leather. If he can make harnesses, maybe he can make me a mask. How do, sir? Hello. I'm sorry to say, but I'm closing. This man seems wary. I must find a way to win his confidence. How do, sir? Hello. I'm sorry to say, but I'm closing. I am here because I found this. Abraham's beard. The son of one of my neighbors was beaten in the street a few weeks ago and it was stolen from him. If you would give it to me, I promise to return it to him and get you a reward. Money doesn't interest me. Who are you, sir? And what do you want from me? I am a friend of Dr. Watson's. Uh, you know him, don't you? In that case, welcome. Dr. Watson is a great man and I would be pleased to help one of his friends. Need a mask, you want buddy. Leather and perhaps even tan it yourself. I believe tanners wear special masks to protect themselves from the toxic emissions given off by the vats used to soak the leather. I have a gas leak to fix, and I won't survive without something effective to protect myself with. Go see my cousin Abraham, who has a pet shop a little further down the road. Tell him that Isaac sent you. <laughs> That's me. Okay. I'll be off now. My regards to Dr. Watson. Why would I go to a pet shop? Um. 
This is a pet shop. Oh, okay. This is a pet shop. Okay, thanks for letting me do twice. That's fine. <gasps> Fucking King Cobra. Here. Somebody's not happy. Who's not happy here? Hey there, buddy. Aw. Don't cry. That's way too small of a cage for you. Hello, sir. Hello. You must be Abraham Solomonovich. I, I came on behalf of your cousin, Isaac. He said that you might be able to help me. I need a good mask to protect me from gas emissions so I can repair a leak. Yes, it should help you. But I let it drop into the big snake cage and they are very dangerous beasts. I don't know how to retrieve it. But you must be equipped to deal with these creatures safely, surely? Of course, but I broke my hook. It should be over there. If you succeed in getting that beast from its cage, you will be doing me a great favor. Well, I release it and just let it bite you. I need something. the broken hook. I can repair it, but I'll need some materials. Perhaps I'll find some material at Isaac's that will be of use. Oh my god, I have to walk back over there? Perhaps oh. I'll find some material at Isaac's that will be of use. Really dragging out that playtime here. Hey, I found your cousin that abuses I need a few animals. items for your cousin Abraham. May I borrow them for you? Of course. You're welcome. I just... This may come in handy. What is that? Ah. This should do the trick. Is that it? Come on, a clue. Give me a clue as to what I'm looking for. Um. Or do I just have to do this at the pet shop for some reason? Can I help you, sir? Okay. <coughs> I need something. Okay, what else then? This cage must do to hold the snake. This cage must do to hold the snake. Where do I need two of them? Okay, what am I supposed to do? There has to be more over here. Perhaps I'll find some material at Isaac's that will be of use. Yeah, exactly. There has to be more over here. I can't build shit with this. Right by the door. This should do the trick. Okay, anything else? Snake pole, okay. 
<clears throat> I need something. Yes, it's here. I need something. I got it. What are you talking about? No, I can't do that. This cage will do the trick. The mesh is small enough. <coughs> um, okay. There we are. Magnificent. If I may ask, why is it you have such equipment? I haven't always had a pet shop, my friend. I was a butcher for many years. But I wasn't serious enough to be a real meat man. And I was looked down upon in the community. I found myself carting carcasses from the slaughterhouse. A repugnant job in which you catch vile illnesses. And it breaks you before you're out of your thirties. Thus, I had the idea to make this mask with a sort of filter. And it worked. Since then, I have quit that work. And with my little savings, I started this business. I lived through the death of thousands of animals. Now I am devoted to their lives. If you are interested, I could sell you a little canary, for example. No, thank you. Let's I mean, return to the boarding house. Admirable position, I guess, but you are failing. These animals do not look well cared for. Art's in the right place, but maybe do a little research on animals or something, you know? Back to the boarding house. <clears throat> the satchel, rather heavy and firmly wedged, dislodging it will take a concerted effort and is better done in a safe environment. I must repair this leak before I can get the satchel out. That's exactly what I said to do before. Um... Obviously there, obviously there, and obviously there, and what now? <clears throat> twenty-five. 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 So what am I aiming for here? They're all at 25. What is this meant to do? There isn't enough gas. The pressure isn't high enough. Okay, so I need more pressure then. I can't click on any of these, so... The gas can escape through this nozzle. The gas can escape through this nozzle. So... Oh, I have to right-click to turn it off. Okay. Left-click turns it on. Fifty. There isn't enough gas. The pressure isn't high enough. There isn't enough gas. The pressure isn't high enough. <clears throat> okay. 50 is not enough, huh? How about that? supposed to do this. How long am I supposed to do this? Is this good? Is that good? Elementary. Okay. Here we go. This much-talked-about satchel is very heavy and seems to contain metal dishes. 
I told Bluto that I wouldn't look inside, but I've little need to. It's quite obvious that it's full of silverware. Hey, a kitty. There is still gas in here. Looking at the state of this cat, it won't survive much longer if it stays here. Okay. Shoo. Let's go to the wasp's nest. <clears throat> Let's go to the wasp's nest. Yeah, I am. I'm actually there right now. I need something. There's no way of returning this fortune to that lout Bluto. I will give him the satchel, but with other contents. Hmm, something with the same weight. Full of crockery, the satchel makes the same noise and weighs about the same as if it were filled with silver. Good thing I randomly picked up that garbage. Pass the sack to me. Did you look in? I give you my word, but it won't belong to you until you tell me where Squibby <coughs> is. Fine. The poor idiot was taken by the peelers the other day. I don't know why some chap started to screech about it. He was the Whitechapel killer, but he ended up followed by an hysterical mob. In a flash, the bobbies had him rounded up and locked down. Do you mean at the local police station? Might. Might not. But if you or the doc talk to him, tell him that about the kayak business. I'll forget our score if he rats on the yank. He'll know. Now, hand over the bag. I say, that's all a little bit wishy-washy. I'm not sure it's worth the satchel. Hey, don't shake it like that, moron. If you don't want to end up with a knife in the back, you'll get busy with the pipe. Got it? Here, take it. That'll teach me for being a good Samaritan. Honestly, how rude. I'd best be off now. Better to not be around when he opens the satchel. I can't just waltz into the police station to ask if they've got Squibby locked up. I'll have to come up with a ploy to find out if he's actually there. Then I'll need to get the policeman to leave for just a few minutes so I can talk to the prisoner. Okay. I can't just waltz into the police station to ask if they've got Squibby locked Why up. Not? I'll have to come up with a ploy to find out if he's actually there. Then <clears> I'll need <throat> to get the policeman to leave for just a few minutes so I can talk to the prisoner. So, you little jack and apes you want to ride on the big whirly? Hmm, another day perhaps, ma'am. What the fuck? As a matter of fact, I would like to know if a chap I know called Squibby happens to be in this police station, and how many policemen are in size. Information? Yes, but time is money for me, you know. Here are a few guineas. So, Squibby. I'll <coughs> tell you everything that I know, my ducky. Nothing. <laughs> I know nothing about whether Squibby is there, and I don't give a damn. The bobbies don't whisper sweet nothings to me, like the girls in the nice places. And now I'll get lost before I get all worked up. Hey, if you have something to offer to a lady, I could tell you a little bit more, maybe. Why would I? You have nothing. You just said you don't know anything. Back. You do that. The girls from the nice houses. That monster. Oh. Danny must have been referring to establishments like Miss Bella's that Watson told me about. So I guess that's where we go. Fine, I have to go to the brothel. <laughs> hey. Hmm. I have nothing to ask. Okay. Hey, it's you. What's your name? Judy? Good evening, Lucy. Do you Lucy. remember me? Mr. Holmes! Come in. You're strangely dressed. What have you come to do in the area? I've come to ask if any of your colleagues, or perhaps even yourself, associate with any of the policemen from the local station. Certain girls go with police officers, it's true. But Bella would be able to tell you more than me. Okay, then what the fuck did I stop to talk to you for? I'm wasting my fucking time. Gun's gone. Just you give me the information that I need so I can move Watson. on. Indeed. A fine man, your Dr. Watson. He got me out of a damn... You're okay. looking... Shut up. Just fucking talk. What is talk. bothering you so much? A client <coughs> left me a case of bottles as payment. 
He okay. told me that these perfumes were the latest thing to my Okay, great. I have a perfume atomizer. Here. You desire? You desire? I will need a book to help me identify Miss Bella's perfume. I believe the bookshop on Glenworth Street, not far from Baker Street, has just reopened. Let's go and take a look. Hello, sir. Hello. Are you the new bookseller in the neighborhood? Yes. Okay. Uh huh. I'm looking for work that can. I would. I'm find, sorry. I'm skipping over everything. Home. Oh. This is extremely tedious. There are some dates missing. Are there? Well, I will see. All the numbers placed on the same column must have different ending numbers. For example, 1886 and 1866 together would create an inconceivable disaster. The dates whose numbers are added together will produce the sum cannot be put on the same column if they indicate the same sense. Number of dates by column 454. So 44. Okay. Are you serious? That's it? There's no... Oh my god. <coughs> oh my god. Boy, I guess I shouldn't have skipped that dialogue. Um, what the fuck? Kind of puzzle is this? Alright, I have to place the dates. All the numbers placed on the same column must have different ending numbers. The dates whose numbers added together will produce the same sum cannot be put in the same column if they indicate the same sense. So eight, so, okay, I think I get it. Not. Um, the dates whose numbers added together will produce the same sum cannot be put on the same column if they indicate the same sense. So six, what? So this won't work because eight and two is 10 and six and four is 10. Is that what they're saying? But doesn't it have to be this way because otherwise we end up with a column with the same ending numbers? Since that already has a two well, this does not have a two. So then this and this probably swap.
There we go. There, Mr. Barnes, the labels are in the <coughs> correct places. That should facilitate your classification. Have you found my book? Yes, what luck it was to meet you. It was acquired in 1882. I will look for it. Thank you very much. I would suggest that you organize your books quickly. I am in the habit of visiting my local bookstore at least once a week. You are right, Mr. Holmes. Plants and Spices, Encyclopedia Spartaca. Perfume is described in a musical metaphor as having three sets of notes, making the harmonious scent accord. The notes unfold over time. Okay, okay. Fragrance, blah, 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 blah. Why do I care? This encyclopedia on plants and spices is just what I need to analyze these so called perfumes. Let's return to Baker Street. Okay. I will need my work table. Okay. I need something. The perfumes. Let's get to work. <clears throat> Let's analyze these perfumes. Okay. Um, what am I meant to do? I <coughs> oh, can't actually move any of these. Oh my god. This shape represents the essence of the perfume, which I must recreate. These shapes represent the smells at my disposal. Okay. Excellent. Now, on to the next step. <coughs> Bitterman number 55. Bad aroma, average intensity. Bad. Okay, so it's bad. This shape represents the S. Yes. Do it to the next one now. Okay. Um. <clears throat> Biggin. Nice big Excellent. Now on to the next step. <clears throat> oh, not this one. This one. Elementary. Fine, I have to go to the brothel. Real brain busters in this game. Just impossible. Fine, I have to go to the brothel. Yeah, 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 shut up. I have distinguished the good perfumes from the bad, but even the good ones are nothing more than common sense for adolescents. <sighs> Who cares? It'll freshen up a few of my girls. It's not really a perfume, technically speaking, unless you like it. It smells strange. I don't really like it. <clears throat> Here, I can give it to you. And I have some information. Squibby is most assured. Okay, he's in the police station. Do you know someone by the name? Danny? Big Danny, Nutcracker? I thought that was Marge's name. The one who name. hates cats? That's the one. You're interested in that kind of bird? Uh, be like dipping your biscuit in a pig's trough. What the? She's dangerous, a real cyclone. So beware. And her appearance. She claims to adore perfumes. <laughs> She'd need this. Okay, I, I thought... doubt it'll take much to make Danny cooperate. Uh, perhaps by offering her... Whatever. Okay. Let's go to the police station. I thought Nutcracker was Margie's nickname. Is this perfume? Do you remember me? Would you be kind enough to help me by telling me how many policemen are inside in exchange for this bottle of perfume? This is perfume. He's got a funny look on his face. Me, I want a pretty... Do 
Do you remember me? There ain't much in the station. It was pretty busy, but now there's only one constable, dearie. There we are. Now Danny has been sprayed with valerian, a scent that's irresistible to cats. I must create a diversion in the street to make the policemen come out, but I need some cats. Lots of cats. Oh my god. Job. Now I'm supposed to go all the way back to the... I must go to the pet shop. Oh. Hey, look. It's Mr. Detective. It's... Shh. I'm undercover on a special mission. Don't blow my cover. Aye, aye, Captain. <laughs> We won't let it slip. Now, what are you doing in this area at such an hour? You are far from home, aren't you? We've come to give Pounce a hand. About his cat, you know. Downstairs round is a nasty old lady Big Danny lives. She threatens to kill Pounce's cat, because she's energic, or so she says. And it makes a cough and vomit just by seeing one. Allergic. Oh, that's it. <clears throat> she stoned Pounce and his cat yesterday, and the poor thing took off and hasn't been seen again. We've been looking for it, but nothing. Now I have to find a cat. Does that cat there belong to Pounce? Bert! That's my Bertie! Be careful, he is injured. Uh, let's take him to the pet shop. We might be able to take care of him. Let's go to the pet shop, children. Okay. If you all go in at once, you'll scare the animals. Pounce, come with... What can I do for you? I have come to return your mask. Ah, thank you. May I present young Pounce and his cat, Bert. Poor Bert, he's been in... It's Big Danny who threw a cobblestone. Big Danny? Danny the jaw? The terror? Oi, that's a mis... Okay. You know this lady? Lady, he's not the appropriate... Okay. Is there anything you can do for poor Bert? I don't know. This cat seems to be in a sorry state. I have a book on cats over there. Can you find it while I look at its wound? Yes. Larry, you're a cape on his tail, isn't it? Blah, blah, blah. Aha! This must be the cat book Abraham needs. What can I... Here is the book on cats. Thank you, my man. I will see what I can do for this cat. So, how is Bert doing? Uh, he'll pull through, but he must eat. <coughs> Your pet store no with no food? food? And where can we get some? We must find Hardiman. He sells meat for cats. It's around this time when he passes the end of the road. You must. Thank you for everything, Mr. So, Pounce, shall we look for the cat food seller? Poor Bert has to be fed, and I might have some work for you and your friends. Beep, beep. Cat's meat. Beep, beep. Good evening, sir. How do a little kebab for the cat? These little brats can't possibly all be yours. Pardon? Oh, no, none of them. Ah, children, there are pride and joy, and yet... And yet what? Do cats really like kebabs? They adore them. How many would you like? I'll take the lot. I beg your pardon, sir? How much for the lot? For two pounds, they're all yours, my lord. It's a deal. Listen up, my little soldiers. You need to find all the cats in Whitechapel and lead them towards the police station. You'll be armed with delicious kebabs to entice them. Go, as quick as you can now. This is such a stupid plan. If my calculations are correct, the cats will be seduced by Danny's odor and will throw them... Yeah, she's allergic, so we can that fucking kill her. It. Whatever. <clears throat> They've managed to round up a six hole, seven Come on hole now, cats. Children. Let the cats alone. What's all this racket? 
Calm down. Come on, oh. out. And make those oh. chap shut up. Well now, let's see what I can do about Squibby. What a stupid plan. This must be the door that leads to the cells. Okay. What am I supposed to do? It's given me no instructions, and I don't hear anything. And this is quite a long ass nail to be bent like this. What am I supposed to do? on lockpicking. No notes on lockpicking. No tutorial on lockpicking. I shall leave Bluto's treasure at the station. The police will know what to do with it. I shall leave Bluto's treasure at the station. The police will know what to do with it. Okay. This is the problem with this game. It's like totally fucking random. Uh, you're just left to figure shit out. I don't know. Okay, it's a Sherlock Holmes game. Of course, you're meant to figure shit out. But I mean, this must be the door that leads to the cells. hear any different sounds. So it's not an audio cue. Well, that was fucking random. <sighs> Did I just need to find the right spot? Frustrating. I just had to do this lockpicking thing outside where I had to find just some random ass spot. Can you believe that? I suppose I shouldn't complain. Looks like you've got your own annoying gameplay to deal with here. And who are you? I've come to talk to you about Tumblety. So you're here to kill me, are you? Absolutely not. I've come on behalf of someone you know, who told me you have some explosive news about this American. In exchange, he has settled your bill on the kayaks. You ain't no street person, you. You're a bobby, trying to wind me up, aren't you? Not at all. Will you agree to talk? Not a chance. I'll give nothing away for nothing. I don't have to follow Bluto's orders. I'm in it up to my neck, and the bobbies won't agree to keep me locked up here for the rest of my life. You mean to say that you are here of your own accord? Damn right. Only death awaits me out there. I was almost lynched because I was blamed for the murder of those poor girls who were chopped up like animals. The police put me here for my own safety. That's when this journalist showed up. Journalist, huh? Did he write in red ink? A journalist? I socked him once for disrespecting me down at the pub. 
He said I'd pay for it one day, and that day came. He said he was going to squeal to the papers about me. With my description and my tattoos and all, I was arrested at the same time the police said they'd caught the Whitechapel killer. While waiting to write the article, he started the rumour. Now the streets ain't safe for me no more. I understand. Listen, if I find this journalist and make him promise to not write a word about you, and if I also agree to pay for you to get out of London, will you tell me everything you know about Tumblety? You sure know how to speak to ruffians, don't you? You got yourself a deal. What's the name of this journalist? Bulling. Tom Bulling. Tom Bulling? Yep. That name sounds familiar. That wouldn't be the journalist that Watson met at the Wasp's Nest. Huh? Ah, no, nothing. I was just thinking aloud. Well, I'll be going, Squibby. You're right. It ain't healthy here. Hey, but what are you up to here, you? Off with you and make it quick before I take you in. Let's go to the wasp's nest. If I must. Let's go to the wasp's nest. No, if Pluto sees me, it could prove to be quite dangerous. Let's return to Baker Street to change. Okay. Good evening. There'll be a nice tip in it for you if you can tell me if you recently saw a journalist here. Yes, sir. A damn nuisance, that man. And a real cad. He cursed me out something fierce for staining a book. He was reading a book? <laughs> Not a real book. A halfpenny rag. He put it down on the ground, and I put it in the paper bin for the stove. It should still be there if it weren't already put in the fire. Goodbye, miss. At your service, me lord. Spring Heeled Jack. Spring Heeled Jack, a fantastical character that terrorizes the population of London. This journalist has some far from cheerful reading. Evening. A pint for me and have one for yourself. I'm looking for a journalist. Haven't seen him for a day or two. He must be sleeping it off somewhere. What paper does he work? I don't know, but I can't believe that he works at his rag because he's always round. The last time I seen him, he spent a whole day at that. Thank you, my friend. That's nothing. Okay. You have anything more to say? Yes, sir. So he's not here. Probably shouldn't mess with Bluto. So where am I supposed to go? Um... Neither of them said anything about that. Ah, Some paper, ink stains. This must be the table where Bulling writes his copy. Okay, so what was he writing? Where does he write for? What is the point of bringing me here and giving me useless information? Let's return to Baker Street. Ugh. Tom Bulling isn't here, but the Baker Street Irregulars should be able to track him down. Perhaps Watson will have something to tell me in the morning. Up at last, Holmes. Were you able to get anything from that crook at the wasp's nest yesterday? Not yet, but I am working <coughs> on it. And yourself, Watson, what were you able to find out from your colleague about the sale of second-hand female parts? Holmes? Well, actually... Let it be, Watson. It was tiring, no doubt. Well, as soon as I mentioned the possible existence of a black market dealing in human parts, everyone in the hospital became very tense. This silence, therefore, tells us more than anything else at this point. However, I have trouble believing that such a peculiar dealing as that involving Annie Chapman's uterus could have gone unnoticed in the medical community, if that is indeed what happened. 
That's my opinion, as well as that of my old university colleague. He maintains that any form of organ trafficking would be impossible, not to mention unnecessary. However, he did tell me something rather troubling. The unexplained disappearance of several corpses from the hospital morgue. He has allowed me to investigate, provided I do so discreetly. And here is what I found, concealed in what appeared to be a secret letterbox. Interesting, an encoded message. Indeed, and look, the symbol of a certain well-known Spartaca encyclopedia is printed on it. Perhaps it will help in deciphering the letter. Thank you, Watson. Are you going out again? I promised a new patient, Captain Stenick, I'd go round to examine him. He lives nearby. I may be back before you've had a chance to decipher this mysterious message. Okay. Good. Let's decipher the encoded words in the message that Watson found at the London Hospital. Good. Let's decipher... Okay. All right. Um, the Spartacus... The index of the Spartacus Encyclopedia. So, Spartacus Encyclopedia here. And then this as well. I'm guessing. Okay. Um... Can I move these? No, can I move? I can move those. Okay. Why are these cut off? All right, I, I get I'm supposed to use those documents as a key. Get that this is a substitution cipher. Um, X, V. I don't get why they're cut off. I don't understand what that means. Oh, it's just a simple substitution cipher. Like, okay. There's no scrambling. Okay, so then. Um, XIV. Five. Okay, it's it's easier than I expected, or than I. Uh, I I thought it would I thought it would be a little bit more secure than this, or or more steps than this. It's just a direct simple substitution cipher, so. Um, fifteen. Eight. Um, a. E. New cohand. Um, X I X S X X I. E. Ten subject Rohan deliver Did I get that wrong? Uh, 
Um, yeah, that is wrong. This is X I I I, not V I I I. Command. New. Commentary. Okay. New command subject woman delivery. Morphdale 17. My dear Watson, I congratulate you on your investigation. This letter seems to well and truly confirm the organized trafficking of bodies in London. My God, how dreadful. Watson, we must go to the address that appears in this message. I would suggest you take your weapon. It hasn't left my side since the beginning of this whole affair, Holmes. I'll also be putting on my workman's disguise again. One never knows. But what about me, Holmes? Stay as you are, Watson. At worst, you can pass as my employer. Find Wharfdale Road on the map of London, Watson. Understood, Holmes. Yes, I have, Holmes. Here we are, Watson. 17 Wharfdale Road. Let's be careful. You think so, Holmes? This house seems to be abandoned. What a yard they have. Closed. This lock is solid, but very old. I should be able to force it. Have to find a crowbar, I take it. This rope seems strong. It is sure to come in handy. Okay. I need something. Looking for a crowbar. A tarred cover. No, I can't take it like that. Okay. You say so. No, I can't do that. This trolley seems to be in good condition, apart from the broken wheel, of course. Okay. Numerous footsteps. Apparently this passage is used frequently. This door was recently reinforced. Impossible to open it. Okay. Oh, I saw that pocket knife can use that to cut down the rope. Okay, yes I can. Okay. Somebody's in there. Hmm, look, if we lift a board from this window, we should be able to pass through. But first we have to get ourselves up there. You are joking, Holmes. Yes, hilarious, isn't it? No, I can't do that. So I gotta fix the wheel and then push it over there so we can This trolley up. seems to be in good condition, apart from the broken wheel, of course. There, this piece of tarpaulin is very thin, but solid enough for our purposes. But what the devil are you doing, Holmes? It's an excellent question. What the fuck are we doing? This trolley seems to be in good condition, apart from the broken wheel, of course. Okay. You all right there, John? Given the layer of dust accumulated in the square, this door must rarely open. Okay. There, by sliding this piece of tarred tarpaulin, I was able to quite simply force the lock. Let's go in. Incredible! What? Not only did that not seem like the solution they were guiding me to, it also doesn't... I don't even understand how that works. These jars contain Whatever. chemical products. Done, I, I have no idea what they are for. Can look to give force in the mouth. Some makeup so. applicators. Makeup applicators. These little metal instruments are rather curious. I'll take one. 
Sure, why not? It's not like it might be evidence or anything. A trapdoor! A trapdoor? I'm going upstairs first. This door was recently reinforced. Impossible to open it. Uh huh. We must find a way to get down through into what's incredible. The roof. Can we tie it to the banister? Right here? No? Okay. What are we supposed to secure the rope to? Or is the rope even... Metal stick. Is the metal stick what I use somehow? Oh, rope. Here. Excellent. Now, on to the next step. I will go down alone, Watson. Try to cover for me if someone should happen along. Understood, Holmes. Okay. Oh, we got a coffin. We got... It is a stretcher that can be dismantled into two pieces. I have to find a way to take it upstairs, I think. I'll be needing it. For what? Coffin, recently made and already broken. Okay. Clothing that appears to be destined to be incinerated. A pointed poker. This is sure to come in handy. Mm. Rings, sure. wedding rings, gold teeth. I don't imagine where they came from. Okay. Seems like they came from this corpses. old box must have held nails a long time ago. Nothing of interest. A hammer. I'll take it. Pincers. Nothing else. Is that it? Okay. Uh. Here's an electrical mechanism. Turning the handle should supply it with energy. Ah, it would seem that there is a broken connection. Okay. Here is an electrical mechanism. Turning the handle should supply it with energy. Ah, it would seem that... Closed. This may come in handy. This may come in handy. Okay, we got a knife, metal poker. Bar. No, I can't do that. Hammer. No, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. No, I can't do that. Okay, um... Excellent. Now, on to the next step. Okay. This box is broken. The wires must be reconnected. Pray, think. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Can't click, can't drag. Okay. Um... Okay, so I can... What am I supposed to... Okay, let's reset it. What am I supposed to do? I can only... I can only click on the ones... that are... discolored here. Is my job to... just do this? Just to connect them all?
Um, I can only connect them in a... No, I can connect them on a diagonal. But only certain diagonals. Okay, so I just have to connect them all. Ambiguous rules. <sighs> All right, well, we have it. Annoying. Elementary. Annoying. Oh, what's that down there? Is there a thing? I suppose I'll be able to get it after I raise the thing up. Cool. It exploded. That's good, Holmes. I don't know why you brought this thing back up, but I can take it. Perfect, Watson. Okay, what do we got here? This bent key just needs a little repair job to make it okay, usable. That I can do with the vice. This may come in handy. Okay, put the fucking key in there. This may come in handy. Put the key in the vise. This may come in handy. Really? No, I can't do that. Hammer. No, I can't do that. Pinchers. Okay. Now hammer? Okay. Unintuitive. Okay. I'm guessing this is for the door. Let's hope that it really is the key to this door. And so, Holmes? Oh. Hey. Let's hurry, Holmes. This neighborhood makes me ill at ease. Um, did you get the stretcher? Can't go back in. Oh. I can. Oh, okay. So, open. What the fuck? Open. You just opened. You just opened. Open again. What the hell? It... You just opened. Open again. The layer of dust accumulated. Oh, there's a wheel. 
This wheel is in good shape, but it is impossible to remove it. The pin holding it is stuck. This wheel is in good shape. Okay. This wheel is in good shape, but so it is impossible. This wheel is in good shape, but it is impossible to... This little instrument will serve perfectly uh, as a pin punch. But what the devil are you doing, Holmes? Elementary. But what the devil are you doing, Holmes? I, I'm not entirely sure myself, John. No, I can't do that. Why not? This stone was blocking the wheel. This stone was blocking the wheel. Excellent. Now on to the next step. Which is to climb up. I need something. 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 Okay. I feel like I I don't know if I should have been able to open the front door again or if that was a fluke or if I missed a chance to go in there and now the door is closed forever. I am not entirely sure. Can I go back down into here? Yes, I can. Oh, there's... Okay, never mind. It disappeared. Okay, what a super well put together game this is. Open. Okay, there we go. You do have the stretcher. No, oh, no, the stretcher was invisible. Closed. What are we doing, Holmes? Do any of us ever know, John? Do any of us ever really know? Do I use the stretcher to climb up? I need something. Apparently not. Were there... Maybe... I need something. Do I have to combine the two pieces? Yes, I do. Frogwares, I'm so glad that you moved on from this stuff. But... I need something. Well, now what do I need? Hmm, look, if we lift a board from this window, we should be able to pass through. But first we have to get ourselves up there. You are joking, Holmes. I need something. I need something. I need what something. What could I possibly still need? I need something. I need something. Okay, so either there's still something I'm missing. I feel like any of these things that are around here would have been a better call than the stretcher for what we're trying to do, and I'm not sure what we need the stretcher for, or what the stretcher needs now. Or, let's see, what haven't I used? I haven't used the hammer yet. And this I used to pry open the, the thing, but it's not gone. Poker with hammer? Am I supposed to use the hammer to hammer in the poker? What? I created a bunch of holes to use as hand and footholds. I hope this ladder will support my weight. That is the most unintuitive solution you could possibly have come up with.
I need something. Yeah, the hammer. Oh, I've used the hammer now. Okay, the pinchers. Okay. Wow. Whoever designed this was so fucking high at the time. Oh my god, so fucking high. Let's go. My god, Holmes. Where are we? For us to find out, my friend. This woman is dead, Watson. Yes, several days ago, Holmes. But the body is perfectly preserved. No odor, no visible decomposition. So the good doctor has been lying as straight as a mortician. Look, Holmes, a label from the London Hospital. It must be a corpse stolen from the London Hospital. Brilliant deductive reasoning. It's a puzzle box. Let's see if I can open it. Um, nine. So... It's making a noise when I click, but... Seven, eight, nine. Two. Well, I can't get to two from here. Unless this is supposed to be like six minus two. Or six minus four. No, apparently not. Divided by two. Okay. Five minus five. Okay. Just four. Uh, two times four. No. We're just randomly guessing what our operations are, apparently. Um, six plus two. Okay. Two times four this time? No. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, six, seven, eight, no. I'm just, at this point, this puzzle makes so little sense um, that I'm just randomly trying things. Okay, fine, then just seven. How about just six? How about just four? Zero, huh? There we are. Magnificent. What stupid puzzles these have become. This square object is very unusual. Indeed. Here, in the information that the boss was able to find out about the client, Ethel loved pink and spoke in a composed and soft voice. At the end, she couldn't do more than whisper, but she was still able to sing some of Schubert tunes that she loved. She would undoubtedly have been a virtuoso in the violin if her husband hadn't impeded her. Instructions, pink robe, assorted jewelry, seance planned for one week hence, but the body will be taken today or tomorrow by two chaps that the boss recruited. Their sign of recognition will be a triangle and a square attached with a red ribbon. No worries, they seem to be professionals. Won't be a problem. Important, mind the quality of your lime for fixing the false eyes. During a seance, during seance four, the boss has asked me to close the eyelids of the ghost so that the clients don't notice anything because an eye started to fall out. He was furious and wasn't able to proceed to the symbolic, symbiotic culmination which alone permits us to get to the client's full cooperation and make off with the maximum. Transfiguration is the key, as he always says. The boss asked me to make it known that if in the future such negligence was repeated, some of us may well be part of the next spectacle in the starring role. I hope that the message is understood. So this it's just a sign of people. recognition. Interesting. 
It's just conning people. That's all it is. Eyeballs. Glass eyes in all shapes and all colors. All shapes and all colors. Souvenir of Liverpool, autumn 1883. I forgive you, my love, my Alexis mum. This old photo shows a young man dressed after the fashion of an employee in front of a shop. Prince Alexander Skalinikov. After becoming a celebrity at the court of the Tsar of all of Russia for having invoked the greatest figures of the past, such as Napoleon, Ivan the Terrible, Alexander the Great, and Robin Hood, Prince Alexander Raskolnikov is now in the service of the humble. His exceptional gifts of divination allow him to invoke your dearly departed to make them come back to life under your very eyes. They will speak to you and appear in the window of time created by the vital energy of your servant. And there's the symbol there. Amusing. The man in the photo taken in 1883 and the one on Prince Raskalnikov's leaflet are one and the same and no more a prince or a Russian than you or I, Watson. Some makeup applicators. Someone made up this corpse. The lips have been colored and the rings around the eyes carefully camouflaged. Yes, somebody wanted to give the impression of life. To what end? You're pretty slow on the uptake there, John. Look at this photo. It is inscribed Ethel Broom Street, 1851 to 1878. This young woman who died ten years ago looks like the one stretched out on this table. These clothes are new, just like the deceased's dress. I imagine her clothes were changed. This cheap jewel must be an accessory of some sort. Mm. Strange smell. What do you think, Watson? A zinc chloride solution, without a doubt. A product generally injected into cadavers to help preserve them. Watson, this corpse was embalmed and made up and dressed to look like a woman who had died ten years earlier. All is clear, Watson. A charlatan passing himself as a prince, making the dead come back by using corpses as puppets. Which explains the disappearance of corpses at the London Hospital. <laughs> it was to fuel Boy, we are really far away from Jack the Ripper, aren't we? Really far. This door was recently reinforced. Impossible to open it. Okay, what have I missed? This may come in handy. Now I need to combine the red ribbon with the thing. No? Okay. Oh, there. Okay, what now? What do you think, Holmes? I think we've done everything we can do here. Are we meant to go back? Maybe if we come back out. Holmes, I hear a cab stopping in the courtyard. Someone's coming. It is probably the dealers, Watson. But instead of running, what if we were to meet them? If we manage to win their trust? You are joking, Holmes. I suppose I should probably have the insignia out, huh? Oi! What you doing there, you? It's private in here. Calm down. We aren't here as tourists. We have come to collect our packet. Oh, well then, you just had to say. I was told that you weren't no tramps, but I weren't expecting that you was... Given your get-up, I guess, your boss. Uh, yes. Yes. Well, the subject ain't ready yet. I ain't done with it yet. You'll have to come back. Well, that's, um, a real problem. I... Say, we have personal orders, too, for some organs. You wouldn't know where we can find them. What type, then? Kidney, uterus... Oi, I don't hack up my dollies. That's the work of an artist. But you wouldn't happen to have a colleague who might furnish this type of item. 
No, you can't make a copper doing that nowadays. Since the bigwigs made it easy to get stiffs, the medical schools are bursting with bodies to carve up. Docs and students have got all they need. Business is dead. For a few coppers, a hospital bloke might help you out, but I don't know for sure. They'd be right in for it if they got caught. It probably just ain't worth it. I understand. And what do you do with the corpses once you're finished with them? I don't bother myself with that. For one thing's for sure. After the seance, they're good for nothing but chucking out. I ain't Napoleon's embalmer. Okay. Well, if you'll excuse... He's got a funny way of talking, you. Oi, it's normal. He's a brain, you see. A thinker at that. Seize you round, old man. So, Holmes, the corpses that have disappeared from the London hospital are used during seances. Nothing to do with organ trafficking. Yes, it all suggests nothing of the kind is underway in London. In the medical world, all dealings would be visible, not to mention unnecessary. The crook we met confirmed this viewpoint. It's hard to imagine, therefore, that our Whitechapel killer perpetrated these massacres with the goal of selling the organs. What lead should we follow now? A giant now, waste of time this Try was. Try to learn more about Tumblety. This squibby should give us some information, but first I must stop the journalist Tom Bulling from harming him. I hope my secret police will soon have some information on him. While we wait, Watson, I would ask you to inform your colleagues of your recent discoveries. It would be good if these morbid ghostly spectacles stopped, and this will need to be done at the London Hospital. You are right, Holmes. Uh. Another false lead followed by the police, Holmes. Yesterday's Times says that a John Fitzgerald who had claimed responsibility for the murder of Annie Chapman has finally been released. He was, it says, lying. Hmm, that's of little importance, Watson. It's incredible. It's been more than three weeks since the murderer struck, and the tension is as strong as ever. The press won't stop talking about him, and people are still full of fear. Perhaps the killer got what he wanted, people talking about him, and has chosen to stop committing crimes. What do you think, Holmes? I doubt it, Watson. Everything leads me to believe that he is in hiding and waiting for the right moment. The area is packed with police, and that would obviously hamper his work. You think he will start again, Holmes? I have every reason to believe nothing will stop him short of his arrest or his death. Sadly, our investigation has reached a dead end, and I fear that we'll need another victim to get back on track. Yes, how awful. And what of the case of the burnt mat? Have you resolved that? Oh, that's a matter of little interest, and resolving will be of no benefit above all to Miss Fleming. Ha! I hear the footsteps of my faithful Wiggins on the stairs. The game is afoot again, Watson. Mr. Holmes, the scribbler resurfaced. At last word, Pounce saw him racing to Central News Agency where he walks. Excellent, Wiggins. And still nothing on the doctor? Sorry, Mr. Holmes. He's one sleek yank, but we'll find him. Good work. Here's something for you. I must leave you, Watson. If I can get my hands on this bullying, I will have much more interesting news on the bothersome tumblety. I have only to change. If you can, Watson, I entreat you to stay here and await my word. We may not be more than two when the time to act comes. You can count on me, Holmes. Okay, I've definitely had enough for today. Um, I have no idea if this is going to be one more part or two, um, but I feel like we're reaching the end of the game, although we aren't reaching a lot of conclusions. I mean, at this point, he pretty much said it all. We're kind of spinning our wheels, so when this thing, when this thing finally ends, it will, as they say, be slow and then suddenly all at once. So I think that's about where we are. Have yourself a good day. Um, come back, join me next time. We'll finish this thing. I've already sunk this many hours into it. I might as well finish it before we move on to the next one. So, take care. We'll see you guys next time.